Hi guys, it's uh, George Grant from Caucasus Club. I uh, want to talk to you about uh, the power which you as a man inherently possess. That's so important to realize. Because most of your challenges, your battles, are in the sphere of gender roles and your status and position as a man in society. So, every man has to realize fully his natural biological status as a man. In nature itself, the man is placed in this earth as the king and the owner of this world. And whenever men are giving up this function, this role, then the disaster begins. So you need to realize that you as a man are always higher than any other creature in the world, including women, of course. Women, animals, kids, anything. Any creature is lower than a mature adult man who realized his manhood. So in our society, as we can see, it is terribly skewed toward this uh, unnatural idea of equality which is absolutely contrary to the natural order of being because there is no equality in the nature itself so the idea of equality was absolutely artificial made up out of deception so it brought a lot of destruction and disaster in the life of people, both men and women. So the restoration begins from the realization that man is a higher being, higher than woman, always, in all circumstances, simply because he is a man. By his nature and biology, he will be always higher than woman. Your body as a man is m more powerful than woman's one. You are physically stronger. And it means also that you must uh, be uh, mentally and psychologically stronger because physique is interconnected with your psyche. It has to be that way. You can only be defeated if you yield to the deception that may poison your understanding and make you believe that you are anything less than what you are, what you're supposed to be. But if you know the truth, nobody can deceive you, and you know that you are superior being, both physically and psychologically. So never be deceived, never yield to any deception. Remember always that you are higher because you are a man. The fact itself the biological structure of your organism, your testosterone, your penis, is a symbol of your superiority that reflects the natural order. You penetrate this world, this reality, and you bring your order, you bring your laws, your rules, and you build something in it. So you push out the space and matter when you appear in this world, and you establish your way, your truth. Uh, so, when people ignore the natural order, uh, there always comes disaster. Also, your word as a man has always to be final. It cannot be otherwise. Uh, because w women do not possess the constructiveness, the creative ability. That's why they can't judge uh, properly about things. So women by nature can only follow and never lead. In country and society where women lead are doomed, such countries are doomed, because uh, woman's essence is destruction. If woman is not tamed and controlled, she will always bring destruction everywhere and in whatever she touches. 
and we all see the truth of this fact around us. And history itself also proves that women cannot do anything properly except spreading their legs and, and giving birth. Whenever men give women any more rights than that, it always ends up in disaster uh, sooner or later. So man has to finally recognize his primary function as a man and take matter in his own hands. And the world will always yield to the strong man. The world can only have power over man when it deceives him uh, to make him forget his true position, what he really is. But when man realizes who he is, his superiority, the world has no chances against him. It will bend. Just by being there, even not doing anything, a man who has fully recognized his manhood is dominating the environment, especially women. Man is the king of this world. Man is always bigger than any woman and than anything woman can do or offer. And when you go out, always remember that all women are inferior, they are lower than you, weaker, less capable than you and basically are inferior beings in all aspects. You don't even have to try to be better than them because by being a man you already are. That's the truth which you always have to remember as a man and fulfill this truth in your life knowing that you are always better than any woman absolutely any woman there is not even a competition from now on I hope when you go out into the world you will go with this clear recognition that you are higher and better in status in everything than any woman at all and when you have this recognition which is a reflection of the natural order then your life will begin to change and women will also recognize this authority you know that uh, most of women are behaving bitchy and uh, irrational also because men are not holding their proper position as a man and subconsciously women always want to have such a strong man around them and when they do not have it they become bitchy they kind of revenge those effeminate men for not being a strong man that's why they mm, just getting hard on them and uh, destroy them as well. This is of course evil and immoral, but uh, that's how it happens. Like in animal worlds, you know, in, in the law of the jungle, the predators are hunting and killing other animals. In, in the human world it's almost the same. Unless a woman is uh, highly intellectual and educated by her parents properly from her childhood and uh, taught to be a uh, highly moral being, intelligent and educated. Only in that rare case will she behave properly and will not bring a disaster to everyone else. But such women, as we know, are extremely scarce especially in our modern time. So it is again up to you as a man to bring order to this life, to establish the, the natural order of uh, who is to be in the lead and who has to follow. And you just don't... You, you can't give up this uh, position and function of a man which you possess. Because if you do, you will ruin your own life. And women in that case will be only a medium tool of uh, assisting you in ruining your life. But it will be ultimately you who allow this to happen. You see, again, you are 
in charge in this world. So it is in your own hands. You have to take matter in your hands. It doesn't matter what you do, what, what's your job or whatever. It has no significance in, in this regard. You need to first recognize your essence as a man. And then everything else will be sorted out properly by itself after this recognition. So just go out of this world with this understanding, with this seeing yourself as a superior being over the woman. And when you do, when you exercise the superiority, the women will sense it and they will yield because subconsciously, as I tell you again, they want such men. They are dreaming about such strong men. So don't be worried about the competition, uh, you see, because only those uh, parts, only those category of women who are totally lost all their uh, femininity, like uh, crazy lesbians or this sort of people, you know, irrational uh, psyche, only they will be, of course, appalled and uh, maybe uh, show some resistance. But finally, they will f flee as well because they are weaker still. The woman have, has no chances in the presence of a strong man. She has absolutely no chance at all. And even pussified men will submit to you. Because the only thing that rules in this world is masculinity. It is the final world. It establishes the final say in, in this um, setup. So when you are armed with such understanding and you go into the world, you will be always uh, having an upper hand, be it with women or with men. The world will bend to the man who fully realized his own manhood and his position as a man in this world. You don't even have to try much. When you recognize this, it will be natural already. There have been uh, some famous historical figures and those people you know, possessed so strong sense of their superiority in masculinity then that whenever they appeared anywhere uh, among the group of people they always exude this uh, sense of power even without saying a word and everybody were happy to submit to them and everybody were quick to uh, fulfill their orders, whatever they told them to do. Again, this is the only reason. There's, this was no kind of special magical powers or something, or extrasensorical psychic powers. No. The people with psychic powers can influence others, but it is always kind of temporal, very temporary, and it, it just dissolves soon. But men who recognize their manhood and their superiority as a masculine person, as a man, this kind of superiority is permanent. That's why people are quick to submit to such person, to such leaders. And I'm not telling you that you have to become the conqueror of the whole world of, or an emperor or something, but on your own level, in your society, in your group of people or office or work, whenever you can exude this superiority and authority just by being a man, by fully recognizing your status. And you will be relaxed when you recognize your superiority and status of a man, as a manager of this world and superior being, you will be relaxed because you will uh, get rid of the struggle of this uh, silly competition with women. It is very wrong f uh, that uh, men are trying to compete with women because when you compete, uh, you subconsciously tell yourself that you are on, on the same level with a woman, you see, and kind of equal with her and you are trying to become higher than her. And this is already wrong from the outset psychologically is wrong but when you realize that you don't have to do anything for that because you already by being a man is a superior being that's already this uh, very powerful uh, understanding which puts you immediately uh, on the top and 
makes women submit. She has no chances. Any woman who is around you when you have this kind of understanding will submit, except all those crazy lesbians and so on, which we already mentioned. They just will run away because even they, they have no chances. And unfortunately, there are very few such men in, in our society because, as we know, the society has been thoroughly effeminated. And uh, it is, again, in our own hands. We have screwed it by allowing this to happen, and only we can fix it. No one else, especially women. Of course, we'll never be able to add anything beneficial to the situation. So, please r recognize this fact and start recognizing it every moment of your day and night. Uh, just ponder on it, just exercise this authority and power wherever you go. You don't have to apologize for that, it is natural, okay? You have to do it with a smile on your face, uh, by being relaxed. The one who is real powerful, he is relaxed always. Look at the lion. He is not trying, he is not jumping around or screaming, trying to scare others. He is totally relaxed, because he knows his power, he recognizes his power. That's why the lion is the king. So it's all just symbols around us, in, even in the nature, that, that show us, that teach us, that, uh, you see, these uh, tips uh, to uh, understand the facts of the life. So please realize this, and if you are a man, Biologically, naturally, you have a penis, you have a testosterone, your whole biology is masculine. You got to come to this point of, of realization that this is the pinnacle of uh, creation and you have to exercise this authority wherever you go. And you will see as magically everything will start to change around you without much effort from your side again, as I said. Whatever you talk about, uh, any subject, when you discuss any, absolutely any subject with women or other men, you will radiate this power and uh, it will bring successful results in whatever you want to achieve, be it business or relationship, whatever. Because only those who have authority and influence and power achieve something. And I am not telling you that you necessarily have to achieve some financial riches or whatever. Maybe your goal is completely different. Maybe you are an artist or musician or whatever. Uh, but in any sphere which you do, if when you are a man, you have this self-respect beca because of recognition who you are. And woman cannot have this self-respect. She can only follow the man because the woman, if she really understands her female nature, she clearly recognizes that she does not possess uh, any strong core to rely upon, that she can rely only upon a strong man. That's why all women are looking for strong men. It's natural for them to do that. So in this respect, everything will be uh, sorted out naturally if both men and women recognize this fact and follow it. Okay. And you can even educate uh, women if you happen to talk to them about the subject uh, directly or indirectly. You can always, you know, express these uh, principles which I'm talking about. You can plainly speak about those principles uh, and educate women if you feel that she uh, is capable of understanding what you are saying, or even indirectly, when you just communicate, when, when you just uh, position yourself as a superior being, uh, sooner or later a woman will yield, and uh, she will be happy to be around such a strong man. In any case, whether a woman follows you or tries to oppose you, you will be the winner in any case. The final word will be after you. It will be yours. Final word will be yours in any case just because you are a man. Mm, so this was basically all I wanted to convey in this video. And I believe um, maybe it would be proper for you to listen to it again and maybe make some notes for yourself uh, to have sort of um, maybe daily um, statements 
to remind yourself uh, every morning or evening about your position of a man until you are fully established in, in that realization. So exercise this potential and uh, take this life in your hands. That's all about being man. There, everything else will unfold later by, uh, by itself. It doesn't matter what's going to happen, but you will be always having an upper hand. All right? Okay. Thanks for your time, and I uh, wish you all the best. This is George Grant for Caucasus Club. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and share this video with other guys who need this help. Okay. Enjoy your day. Take care.